A big update on allegations of sexual assault against Charles Herbster, the candidate for Nebraska governor backed by Donald Trump. The Nebraska Examiner reports three new names on the record throwing support to claims as a witness to incidents of the aftermath. Now 3 News Now, investigator Aaron Haggerty has the details. Three more names are on the record. Last week, the Nebraska Examiner reported that State Senator Julie Slama and seven others anonymously made allegations of sexual assault against Charles W. Herbster, a candidate in the thick of the Republican primary for governor. Here's what Slama told KFAB happened at the 2019 Douglas County GOP event when she was 22. I felt a hand reach up my skirt, up, up my dress, and the hand was Charles Herbster's. I was in shock. I was mortified. Alex DeGarmo, a current legislative staffer, said the allegations made by Julie Slama are, quote, undeniably true. He told the examiner, I was told in confidence immediately after it occurred about the interactions that took place. Kelsey McDonald said something similar. At Herbster's kickoff event in April 2021, she and two friends went to take a picture with Herbster. She told the examiner, after the picture, we were walking away. My friend says, oh my God, Charles Herbster grabbed my slang for buttocks here. Edward Boone said he personally witnessed Herbster groping a woman. Boone said he was at the same 2019 Elephant Remembers Dinner Slama said she was assaulted at. He told the examiner, while introducing himself to one of the women, he started to hug her. He then moved his hands down to her buttocks and aggressively grabbed them. All three of the people now on the record in the Nebraska Examiner told 3 News Now that their statements in the online publication are correct. Boone didn't want his name in the original story because he was afraid doing so could lead to the woman's identity becoming known. Aaron Sandiford, a former investigative reporter here at KMTV, broke last week's story and Tuesday's update. Sandiford said two of the three new names on the record were originally used in the report last week to corroborate, but on the condition that they not be named. The third came forward for the first time after the original story. All three of the newly on-the-record individuals said they're upset with how Senator Slama has been treated by some after the report. They're also upset by Herbster's denials. Herbster forcefully denied all allegations in a statement last week and on the radio at KFAB. I can assure you that um, I've never even done that when my wife was alive in the 30-some years with her personally. I would not do that. The campaign says in a statement, nothing reported today changes Herbster's denial. They said at both events, Team Herbster staff members were present. Based on interactions and conversations there, anyone with common sense would doubt the credibility of these accusations. This is nothing more than a failed political hit job. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. Former President Donald Trump will hold a rally in Nebraska next week to support Herbster. The rally is scheduled for the 29th in Greenwood. Tickets are through the Trump website. Herbster will be a guest speaker.